What's up guys? Today we're going to take a quick look at the focus uniformity of the LG HU810 laser projector. So we're going to start off going clockwise, starting from the upper left corner. Here you can see that there's a little bit of purple fringing on the bottom corner of the circle here. There's a little bit of yellow as well down the center line. Otherwise, it's pretty sharp. Going over to the opposite corner, a little bit of purple fringing on the inside of the circle near the left-hand side, also on the inner circle as well. Otherwise, still pretty sharp. Lower right corner, again, a little purple fringing around the outer edges here on the left side of the circle, also on the inside, still pretty sharp. And on the opposite corner here, You've got a little purple fringing on the outer circle on the right side of the circle and also on the top line here as well. And there's also a little bit of yellow here on the left outer edge. If we take a look at the center, this is the center of the screen where it says sharpness. That's pretty spot on. Not much going on here. It looks almost perfect. So the outer corners are not perfect, but the center is, is pretty darn good. Now to compare that, I have the brand new BenQ TK850i. It's about half the cost of the LG. And as you can see here, there is a fair amount of fringing on the right side of the circle here. You can see that right in the center line. Opposite corner, same deal. Bit stronger than it was on the LG. You can see it on the left side of the circle, most notably in the center line there. Bottom right, pretty heavy with the purple fringing here on the left side of the circle. You can see it on the outer edge, also between the X and the center as well. And then same thing here in the lower left hand corner, except the fringing is on the right side of the circle instead. And finally moving towards the center of the screen where it says sharpness, you can see it's pretty much outlined with purple fringe all the way around it. So possibly chromatic aberration issues going on here with the BenQ. As far as setup is concerned, this is going to be the horizontal and the vertical lens shift on the LG. As you can see, it does have a fair amount of movement going from right to left. And this is projecting on my CinemaScope screen, which is 120 inches. It can just about cover the entire width of the screen. Now going up and down, you can see that it's a fair amount of movement going up and down. Now if we compare this to the BenQ, there is no horizontal movement, there's only vertical. So we're going to go ahead and try to shift it up, which is very minimal. And then going down, again very minimal as well so not too much play that you have with the BenQ but with the LG you do have a lot of flexibility there and lastly let's do a comparison of the black levels between the BenQ and the LG this first one here is from the movie The Mummy this is about a half hour into it you can see black levels these are DLP levels of black not exactly super black and contrasty. It's a bit gray. I think it looks better on the video than it does in person. But here you can see that the the black bars, not exactly black. They are gray. Then the background here is also a lot lighter looking. But you can see some pretty good detail in the guy's jacket. And it's a fairly sharp picture as well. Moving over to the LG, it is definitely a lot darker. Not perfect, but the blacks are deeper. They are richer. They do skew, still a bit gray, but they are darker than the BenQ. Detail is a bit harder to see here, but black levels are definitely much better. So I don't know, you guys decide. What do you guys think looks better? Black levels on the LG or black levels on the BenQ? Leave a comment down below. And what do you guys think about the sharpness uniformity of both of these projectors? Remember, the LG is a $3,000 projector and the BenQ is a $1,600 projector. I haven't done a review on the BenQ yet, but stay tuned for that coming this week. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.